Welcome to the Money Mastery Platform with Peter Asari Nyako. On this platform, we want you to always remember the goal is not more money, but financial independence and financial freedom. Today, we are looking at seven tricks, seven psychological tricks to help you save more. Yes, if saving, if you find saving difficult, we hope by the end of this video, you will learn some new tricks that will help you save more money. So let's, let's go into our discussion. Saving money can be challenging, but it is essential if you want to achieve financial independence and financial freedom. And so that's why this video, we decided to look at some psychological tricks. We know a lot of people want to save but they are finding it difficult to save. And so we are looking at psychologically, what are some of the things you can do so you can save more money? Let's look at the seven tricks. One, pretend you make less. You have to pretend you make less. This involves intentionally living be below your means to save money. You must intentionally live below your means so you can save money. It entails adopting a way of life that is supported by income that is lower than what you make. And so you adopt a way of life that is supported by living below what you make, spending less than you are making. You will have more money available to set aside for the future if you do this. The key to this psychological trick is to change your mindset about money. Consider what you truly need to lead a fulfilling life rather than what you can afford based on your income level. And so the trick number one we want you to do is to pretend you make less money. So if you have, an, if you have a ride at work, you don't need to change your lifestyle to match your income level. No. You need to spend less than you are making. You need to limit your spending. Even though you may be making a huge amount of money, but because you want to save more money, the psychology is that you need to pretend you are making less. Yes. And save whatever surplus money that 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 you 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 have that will help you save more let's look at trick number two practice delay gratification practice delay gratification the capacity for delay gratification is the ability to resist the lure of quick gains in favor of long-term advantages and so you are delaying your pressure. You are delaying your instant gains so you can have long-term advantages. That is what delay gratification is all about. This can be a challenging skill to develop, but it is essential for saving money. Try creating a wish list of items you want to purchase and waiting a certain amount of time before making non-essential purchases. This can assist you in avoiding impulse purchases and concentrating on your long-term financial objectives. So you need to create a wish list and then give yourself time to make those purchases. For example, probably you might have money to buy a car now, but what if you make it a wish list and give yourself enough time, two years, three years, five years, so you are delaying gratification. You might have money to purchase iPhone 14 now. But what if you give yourself time? You delay that purchase. So the more you practice delay gratification, the more you can save money. Yes, it is a psychological trick. Delay gratification. Write a wish list and give yourself time to get those items. So you can save the money now for the future probably 
by the time you get to that deadline, your mind has changed. Yes, delay gratification. You can even, yes, I want to buy iPhone 14 in a year time. By the time you get to that deadline, your mindset has changed to a new thing. You even want to start a business with that money. So delaying gratification can help you save more money and can also help you achieve financial independence and financial freedom. The third trick, psychological trick, is to create a meaningful spending plan. Create a meaningful spending plan or a mindful spending plan. Mindful spending plan is the practice of being intentional with your money and making conscious decisions about how you spend it. Yes, so I mostly tell people, give your money a mission. Give your money a mission. So every money must have a mission. You are spending that money because it's going to fulfill a purpose. That can help you save more money. Start by keeping account of your spending and determine where you can make savings. Spend your money on the things that will make you happy and genuinely matter to you. Only spend money on things that will make you genuinely happy. Don't spend because someone wants you to spend. Don't spend because the ad campaign is giving you a discount. No. If you do that, you cannot save money. And so create a mindful spending plan. And spend on things that will make you happy and genuinely matter to you. Let's look at trick number four. Psychological trick number four. Join a savings challenge. Join a savings challenge or a savings club. Yes. This involves joining or forming a group of people who share common saving goals and working together to achieve those goals. This could typically be among your friends, family members, co-workers, or people you generally share the same saving goal with. So, if you want to save more money, join a saving club. These people will influence you. Because if you work with four wise people, you might be the number five. And the opposite is true. If you work with four foolish people, or four unwise people, you might be number five. And so if I'm working with people who are saving, who have a target, who have a savings target, their lifestyle, their actions will also influence you to do the same. So join a savings club, join a savings challenge, and save more money. Trick number five. Trick number five. Set specific and measurable goals. Yes, one of the most effective ways to motivate yourself to save money is by setting specific and measurable financial goals. You are more likely to remain motivated and focused when you know exactly what you are aiming for. Make sure to divide your objectives into manageable, attainable benchmarks. Yes, so set savings goals. I am saving towards my education. I'm saving towards my vacation. I am saving towards buying a, a laptop. I am saving towards buying an iPhone. So once you set goals for it, 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 it pushes you. Yes. So set specific and measurable goals and save towards those, those, those goals. Trick number Six, six, take advantage of automate, automatic savings futures. Take advantage of automatic savings futures. Using an automatic saving future can also help you develop the habit of saving without thinking so much about it. By making saving a regular part of your financial routine, you will be more likely to continue saving even after you have reached your initial savings goal. So... Automation, link your bank account to your savings account. Make the standing orders every month. Once you get your pay, the bank will deduct your savings from it. Automate it, yes. And that will help you save more money. By the time you realize, you have even saved beyond your savings goal. So that's the psychological trick number six, is to use take advantage of automatic 
automatic savings switches automatic savings switches it's very very important and then the last trick the last trick is practice gratitude practice gratitude practicing gratitude is a psychological trick that can help you save money in the long run it involves focusing on the positive aspect of your life and being grateful for what you already have rather than constantly desiring more it can help shift your focus away from material possessions and towards the things that truly matter in life spend some time every day thinking about your blessings and appreciating what you already have this can help you prioritize your spending and save you from impulse buying and other unnecessary purchases so gratitude is, is, is a key psychological concept. Once you are grateful for what you have, once you are grateful for the little you have, you will be able to manage that. You will be able to save some of it. And so practicing gratitude, this is how much I make every month. I need to save some. I need to be grateful for that. I need to save some. It will help you save more money. So these are our seven psychological tricks to help you save more money. Yes, seven psychological to help you save more money. Bonus is use positive self-talk. That's my bonus for you. Everything you do, you need to be positive. Positive self-talk can be a powerful tool for staying motivated and on track with your financial goals. Make affirmations that represent your objectives and tell yourself the worst often. Focus on the positive part of your financial journey and picture yourself achieving your objectives. So this go with the gratitude aspect. Always tell yourself, oh, I am saving more. I am doing well. I am achieving my saving goals. I am making money. Practice positive self-talk. And this will help you achieve your financial goals. So if this video it's helpful to you you can leave a comment share with others subscribe to our channel and help us reach a lot more people because our goal is to help you achieve financial independence and financial freedom thank you very much for watching this and i'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video